Radio. And now, Ham Radio Concepts presents another exciting amateur radio video, keeping ham radio operators informed with a thorough look at the new products. Now, here's your host, Eric, KJ4YZI. Hello, everybody. This is Eric with Ham Radio Concepts. I have a video here that I'll try to make short but give you an idea of the, this looks familiar, doesn't it? Uh, this is the MD390 by Titera, TYT, but this is the MD390 GPS. Now, I have done the video of the MD380 and the MD390, but then shortly after the 390, they released the 390 with GPS. So, without doing the unboxing video, uh, it does come with the same exact accessories. It does come with programming cable and software. Charger, two antennas, one short one, one extended range antenna, and uh, the instruction manual. However, so when you look at this, you notice a striking resemblance between the two. Okay, what are the, what are the main differences and the similarities? Well, besides the fact that this says TYT and that says Titera, it's both the same radio. Same case, same buttons, essentially the same radio, operates the same. Um, so they are both, uh, this one is submersible. The MD390 with GPS is submersible just like the last one. And without going into a full review of the radio as I've done before on other videos, um, just to give you an idea, it does have a seal around the battery, a seal around the battery contacts, and a seal around the keypad and the buttons or the knobs and the antenna connector. So it is fully submersible, three feet in water for 30 minutes. I'll do the water test shortly in this video as I did with the other ones. Although I won't be in a rainstorm this time because it hasn't rained for weeks and I can't seem to plan it on a day when it's raining. Um, so comparing these two, okay, they both have the side cover that uses the screw to uh, keep that sealed. That's a seal around there as well. Okay, they do use the same kind of programming cable. However, they do not use the same software. The software that comes with the 390 GPS is separate from the 390. It is different, but it is available on the website. This radio here, can both these can be had at radiodity.com, R-A-D-I-O-D-D-I-T-Y.com. And the link is in the description. You can get the software online as well. They have all three of these models. The 380 is a little bit different than these two. Um, so looking at this, uh, same again same size same battery contact same charger same antenna port all right when you turn them on you'll notice that the 380 or 390 says md390 uhf and this says md390 uhf gps so it's my understanding that somebody online had taken these apart and they noticed that they're same exact board inside although the md390 has the socket on the board somewhere without the GPS module soldered in and the MD390 had the module soldered in. So basically they decided probably the, 3, 8, the 390 here will accept the GPS but they didn't include it. Okay, um, and we'll get into the GPS here in a minute on, on the value of it with DMR because if you're familiar with D-Star or uh, C4FM System Fusion, um, the GPS on this is not as robust as those modes okay dmr is a little bit different and i don't have too much dmr coverage here i'm waiting to try to pick up some kind of dongle so i can do some more on-air testing for you if you're interested and show you linking and such but uh right now i've just been playing with these on simplex and then when i head south uh towards fort pierce i jump on the machine and check it out um but going into uh into the utilities okay and radio info the version of this one firmware D002.034 and the CP version is 1.30. And looking at this one here, the utilities, I'll try to keep the screen on. Radio info. Okay, so you do see it is a different firmware. Uh, the S013-009 on the 390 GPS. Uh, and the, co the CP version is different as well. So it does have some sort of different firmware with it. And that's probably why you can't use uh, the... Uh, MD380 software with this because this is a totally uh, different with the GPS, all right? Um, so going away from the 390, okay, and the 390 GPS. So in addition on the screen, you'll notice the little world there. Uh, the GPS hasn't locked yet, but um, it seems to lock really well outside. It has locked inside before, although I haven't monitored it that much. Um, 
with the uh, GPS indoors. Okay, but it'll show you in there when it's locked. It'll get rid of the little red circle there. Um, and going into the menu is identical minus when you go into utilities and GPS Baidu or Baidu info, I guess, is when it locks, this is what will show you the GPS coordinates of where you are. Now, it doesn't show you um, distance from another user like DSTAR would, and it's primarily geared toward professional or business or commercial side. Remember, Moto Turbo or DMR methods or technology originated in the commercial market, so these radios can be used on a commercial market or for the ham market, which was developed by hams and, you know, or it was pushed into it. Uh, so DMR is not exclusive to ham radio. Now, using this as a fleet operation or a, you know, when you're, uh, if you have uh, multiple people and you're using standard analog radios, maybe a different approach for you being that it's digital. There are repeaters that use the GPS so you can see where the other users are through the network. And to my understanding, with the DMR with the two time slots, uh, the professional networks use the GPS and one of the time slots for the data positioning system and the other time slot for voice. To my understanding, I'm not a professional, but the DMR professionals will get on here and comment and tell me if I'm right or wrong, I'm sure. Um, and uh, we'll take a look at the software also because the it received GPS info as if you're talking to another user and they're transmitting GPS information, it'll show up on the received GPS of their coordinates. Um, but the average, uh, again, the, the average, well, actually the whole DMR market, to my understanding, the DMR mark network will not allow GPS. Now, if there's a private statewide or local system that's privately owned that will enable and allow GPS, uh, that may be up to that uh, system or owner or operator, but uh, to my knowledge, DMR on the ham radio market, on the ham radio side, does not incorporate GPS in their systems. Too much data traffic, it, it's not designed for that. Uh, whereas D-Star or System Fusion would be designed as you're talking to transmit your, your GPS data and all that. So what I wanna do here real quick, now that you see the radio and what it does and how it looks, um, I'll do a water test and I'll, let me show you the software real quick um, just to show you a couple different check marks on the boxes that you have to enable or disable for the GPS to go from one radio to another if you're programming a batch of these radios. And then uh, we'll do a quick water test to prove that it is IP67 submersible, three feet in water for 30 minutes. I'll just do it uh, in a shallower amount of water, but you'll see that in a second. So let's check out the software on this thing. And looking at the software quickly, the MD, CPS MD390 software. Uh, if you're interested, I did a little bit of example on the MD380 video on loading code plugs in here. I'm not a professional at it yet, but it uh, gives you an idea of, you know, when some people pick up the radio and they see that it has 16 channels on the knob, that's not how many memories it can hold. You can program different zones and such. But just to show you here, something basic um, if I were to go into channels the the difference in this software would be it gives you the option send GPS info receive GPS info and you need to make sure you have that set appropriately for what you're wanting to do as well as GPS system over here um, there is a GPS system over on the left which basically a couple settings here uh, probably more for the uh, private or professional commercial side um, you know, GPS report interval, uh, stuff like that. But that's the major, minor difference in the software. But again, this 390 software, uh, the GPS software is different than the regular uh, software for 390 and different than the 380. So uh, to show you where the software is, because a lot of people ask, where do I get the software? So when you go to radiodity.com and find the MD390 with GPS, it's right here under Downloads, right here, TYT MD390 with GPS Programming Software and USB Drivers, okay? Current price, $179, um, but uh, that's where you find it, and it's very simple to install, just like any other software. Let's dunk it in the water real quick. So, of course, everyone wants to see a water test. 
Uh, you saw in my MD390 video that I did, I was outside in a rainstorm and I put it under water for several minutes. Uh, it hasn't rained here in weeks now, so I can't seem to plant it outside with the rainstorm. So just as well as put this, and this is the GPS version, MD390, in the water. So I'll take my other one. Oops. I don't think I have enough water in here. If I can get it to stay there. Stay. Doesn't want to stay. There it goes. Uh, hello, hello Chef. Chef. Hello. hello. KJ4, KJ4. YZI. YZI. So it is submersible. KJ4, that's what I said in the water there. KJ4, YZI. All right. Hello, Hello. testing. Testing, one, two. One, two. Sometimes you have to shake out the. Check out, out the speaker. Hello. Hello. Test one, two. Fully submersible. That's about as best as I can get with the water, but you understand it is submersible. Uh, so, proof in the pudding. It says three feet of water uh, for 30 minutes. So, I could leave that in there for a while because uh, it's not three feet of water. So the higher pressure is at three feet, limit it to 30, 30, uh, 30 minutes underwater. There's a message, who could it be from? Oh, look at that. 7-3, KJ4YZI. Thanks for watching. Um, I cut the video here, so I gave it about six minutes underwater. And, uh, just wanted to make sure it was waterproof. So I hope the video made some kind of sense to you. Check out radiotity.com for this version. Link is in the description. And hopefully I'll have more DMR technology videos on the way for you. Uh, when we get some other radios that hit the market, we'll see what comes next. 7-3 from KJ4YZI.